Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time. This is actually the second vlog I've recorded. The other vlog I recorded, I recorded yesterday on the Thursday. And it was an hour and ten minutes long. Of It consisted pretty much of... Ah, just shit. <laughs> shit. Um, so... I just decided that you know I can't I can't subject you good people to that much crap because uh, it was it was just I was all over the shop knackered um, and and you know how I do my uh, looking out the window and shit like that well I did a lot of that in fact I think about thirty minutes of the blog was just me going. So, we're not going to have as much as that. that that'll that still be there because I can't help it. That's what I do. I mean, if you read my school report, it, it would always say at the bottom, easily distracted and... Yeah, I just can't help it. Anyway, um, try something here. Hey, you boy, you come up. Oh, you don't know that we're recording, do you? You don't know that I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to do a shout out to Ruby Roo. Uh, that's my pitiful attempt at singing. Um, and uh, I'm sure it was Molly, a dog's called. Um, it's a West Highland Terrier, love. Uh, you, a Westie. You don't have to put the white in there. Uh, just, just saying. Just saying. Um, just not picking fault. Just clarifying that. Um, if you, if, for those of you who don't know, I had a Westie for 18 years, uh, Misty, and Misty was just, she was everything that he's just, I mean, he's like, you know the Duracell bunny adverts where it, it just that fucking rabbit never stops? Well, this is kind of like the Duracell Spaniel, you know, he just never stops. Um, so, um... That's it. You know, the window. He's just he's having one of these days. Um, he's been out with me here for ages because I've been doing. I'm doing a new thing. I'm going to start doing uh, review. They're not reviews. They're, they're quick looks, sneak peeks. Uh, rather than doing stuff that maybe just gets lost in a vlog, you know. Uh, oh, dog breath. Um, I, I'll do like I've just done one for. Right, you going to go down? Thank you. Um, I've just done one for the this, uh, the Zenith. Uh, there's going to be a Zenith V two point five, and I think it's going to come with a squonking up upgrade as well. So I've just done a, a five minute video. That's all it is. Five. Yes, I've done a five minute video, uh, showing it off. Uh, because there's no point in me reviewing the whole thing. I've, I've re reviewed the V1 and the V2 in the past. Uh, so I'm just quick and dirty videos. I, uh, I'm just going to have a vape here. This is the Squape R. Reloaded in my Kato mod eighteen six fifty version. I would just like to my computer needs restarted, no postpone. Uh, huge shout out to Vape Profit Profit Vapor, uh, Andy and Kato um, for sending this on to me. They sent the, the eighteen five hundred on to me for review, and I was over the moon with that but they've also sent me on the 18650 with the 007 serial number and uh, do you know this this hobby whatever you want to call it pretty much consumes your whole life it takes up so much time I, I mean you 
people say, why aren't you answering comments on YouTube? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Blah, blah, blah. If you had an inkling of the amount of time that this consumes of my life, I mean, I'm talking, there's not a moment where I'm, I'm really not doing this stuff. I work, I have a few hours with Karen at the weekend, nights, and the rest of the time at the weekends, I'm out in the shed and or tinkering or getting stuff ready for reviews or testing stuff. It's non-stop. I don't grumble and groan about it much, but every once in a while you get sent something as a present, a gift, a thank you. And it just kind of, you know, it just is brilliant and uh, well chuffed. So I can't thank these guys enough, but also I can't thank a lot of you know people that send the emails saying thank you for doing what you do and things like that. I, I, do you know, it's just, it's bloody brilliant. It's the best part of doing this. It is. Um, I could name so many people. It's just awesome. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to go into gush mode here, but I'll stop, stop. Right, um, so, the scrape reloaded is I'm going to start the review on this just now. It's going to take up most of my weekend. There is a lot to this and uh, it's going to be a good day and a half recording, editing and so on. Now, Andrew AW, uh, uh, if you're on my Facebook page, I already put up a link to his review, which is top notch. Uh, so go and watch his review. I know that Martin, Navy Life Gap, is recording his just now uh, and it'll be great I mean they're both great reviewers it'll be you'll see everything you need to see it'll be the technical stuff and so on I'm thinking about how I'm going to do my review my review will probably be a bit more lay not laid back but a bit more slap dash as normal and well we'll see how it goes but uh, it's going to be a long one take up a lot of time um I've got so much gear here to go through. Uh, just to clarify once again, you know, go along to my 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 Facebook page or my web page, and on both you'll see somewhere there is a link to my online calendar that shows you all the reviews that are coming up and when they're coming up. That's usually when I record them or when I upload them. If I can sneak them in quicker on a quiet night or day, then I'll record it and I'll bring it forward, uh, but it gives you an idea of what I'm reviewing and when it's coming up. Uh, I only add something to the calendar when it's been confirmed as being dispatched. No more of this, you know, a mod maker or whatnot saying, yeah, I'll send you this out for review and then you never hear from them again. And I've booked out a slot for them. It's a tough, you know, once they give me a tracking reference, then it gets added. Uh, and I'm already well into August, end of August, so um, I'm not going to go through all the stuff that I've got for to review. Uh, I've, there's just so much. <laughs> right. Uh, what can I show you? I can. I mean, there's so much I could show you. I'll show you my Debbie again. I love my Debbie. Uh, squonking. Go squonking. Join the squonking world. Squonking needs to have a big revival. Uh, I know there's loads of folk doing it, but more of you should do it. It's just awesome. Right. I'll show you stuff that's uh, floating my boat just now. This came in. This is the Snow Wolf 26650. And I love this in the black finish. I really, really like it. And the Asmodus uh, rebuildable drip anatomizer that I did, the 26650, you know, it matches, it goes with this. It's, well, that's in the house. I'm vaping it. 
It's actually in the house sitting on top of the new Nemesis, the 26650 Nemesis. <sighs> Loads of 26650 mods out there just now. The new 26650 Nemesis, the switch on it, it just wipes the floor with all these other mods that are out just now. It is the, the Nemesis switch on a 26650. It's stunning. It is stunning. I, I shit you not. Uh, this is a nice switch. Uh, a bit clicky right now because it's just a bit clicky. The only thing about the the snow wheel, it's a bit. Uh, it comes with different length contact pins, which is a bit. You know, that's going back in time. That's a step backwards. We shouldn't be pissing about with that kind of thing. You know, if you've got different length atomizers, you have to change out the contact pin and as much as I like the mod off the bat I really do like it a lot uh, that that that's just <sighs> we shouldn't be ticking about with stuff like that shouldn't be but that will reveal be coming down the line uh, I've also got the the Aries Chief Peter Chief Vaping Pat I think it is uh, Schmo Vapes are going to be stocking this. This is sixty pounds. Um, sixty pounds for twenty six six fifty mod. Um, I have what have we got? Um, oh oh oh! Revolver. So many mods coming out with new little tweaks and things on buttons. The revolver by Vape Shock, uh, is it Vapor Shock? Sorry. Uh, right, it just looks like a, a modular tube. But see this switch here? This switch is just. Uh, 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 Stunning, absolutely stunning. So, vapor shock guys, if if you see this, well done on, you know, great. It's absolutely bloody great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing that review and showing it off to you in more detail. Uh, the hidden storm, hid and storm, made by a guy called Jim. Uh, Jim has, in my opinion, um, another modular one, another amazing switch, turn, lock, turn, fire, it's a telescopic, 23mm, but it also comes with a 22mm top cap as well, this is such a high quality device, this is no bullshit, no lies, no nothing, just all the gear I've seen, loads and loads and loads of gear. This is one of the ones that I would put in the just built so, so well. This is a quality piece of gear. This this is this high end. And I don't mean high end is unobtainable or or you know unicorn list and stuff like that. I just mean high end as in build quality wise. It's just built. It's the kind of stuff that makes doing the reviews worthwhile when you know things like that come along. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I got the. Uh, I don't know how, this ended up in my, my lap. Uh, this is the, the Caribbean, or Caribbean. I'm not sure what it's called, or how to say it. It's another 26650. I'm not going to do a full review. I'll do a sneak peek, kind of quick, dirty review look at it. Um, uh, yeah. For a couple of reasons. I'm, I'm, It's almost got like a, 
a Nemesis switch on it. It's got kind of, kind of got the, the old Nemesis switch on it. Um, it works very well. I have to say that. It works very well. Uh, but there's a few things that I'm not 100% on it. But uh, I'll... That'll come along. That'll come along. That'll just be a quick and dirty review for that one. Um, the Totem. Uh, this was sent on to me by eBuds eBuds Six, who are a shower of gets hate them. He sent me the the mod, but on the the package, if you haven't seen my Facebook page, on the package it actually had said written on the back, uh, anal tube lube and penis enlargement kit. It just you ought to have seen the post his face when he walked into the shop to hand it over and get me to sign it. His shoulders were going like that. And I'm like, what, what's going on? And then when he's out the shop and I looked at the writing on the back, I thought, you bastards. <laughs> um I've got the uh, I've also been vaping away with. Have I got a battery in this? Yes I do. The the nanos, that's coming along very, very soon. Uh, I've got the hang of locking and unlocking this. Locked, unlocked. Locked, unlocked. Uh, I'm actually running it with a TNS uh, on top of the Nanos. Um, I've got it in kind of like a hybrid mode. Uh, and, and it's just a, I mean, just a dinky wee thing. It really is. I wasn't sure in the Nanos at first. I was kind of meh. Uh, but see now I've got the hang of the, the switch. I just, I really enjoy vaping with it. It's just a sublime little guy. It really is. Um, I've also got... Uh, which turned up, uh, Shmovape sent this on. The Immortalizer. This is the new design of the Immortalizer. Um, a huge fan of the Immortalizer. Uh, it was a huge, I always have been a huge fan of it. I've sung its praises, the ceramic base. Uh, it's not what I would consider to be a, a cloud chasers type device. Um, it's the draw. Well, I don't know if I can, can I do this? don't know if you guys remember that you could take the outside piece off on the old one. You can kind of do the same in this. Um, now, nah, even, even even with the, the center piece off, it's still not a, what I would consider a cloud chasing. Maybe I've just blocked the air hole off too much. Let's have a little tinker. You little tinker, you. Um, come to daddy. Up, up, fly, be free. Um, how does that go again? That goes on first. I'll try it with this. I, I really haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. But that shouldn't come as any great surprise to anybody out there. Um, lifting the coil off the base is giving... It's a bit better. Um, I need something to put it on, however. Vision Spinner 2. That's a uh, Weak and Vape by Epic, uh, zero milligram. I've been just using that for chucking clouds out. If you are, I, I mean, I know the trend and the fashion. The fashion, don't you know, is to, you know, you must have, you know, bloody clouds and clouds coming out and all that. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I like blowing clouds as much as the next person. I enjoy it. It's good fun. But uh, let's not forget that uh, there are lots of people out there that still prefer flavour over anything else. And the immortaliser, it, it really is, you know, if you're a flavour junkie, it's, it's just a cracking device. It's a cracker. Just tighten that down. Am I spending too much time talking about this? Sorry, I'm playing now. Oh, it's lush. It's just lush. Um, right, what else? Um, shout outs. In the box. Um to Dunford's e-liquid, Dunford, um, now, where's it going, I think, oh it's in the house because I've been vaping with it, anyway, uh, it does one called Shorthorn, which is a custard, which is just, um, 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 lovely, uh, but this is, uh, It is four or five, and he sent me them on. I have to be honest, I've not tried them. I've just been vaping the custard because it's so bloody nice. Uh, so, big thank you to him. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, the other one is Lancashire Steam Company. Uh, now, I don't do juice reviews. Uh, I don't want to do them. I've no appetite for them at all. It just doesn't interest me. Uh, I don't have the time. However, there was a guy got in touch who's a friend of uh, Mrs. Lord's. Uh, most folk know I love Mrs. Lord's Druid Custard Cream and Navy Cut. Navy Cut is becoming a... Navy Cut's just stunning. Uh, but this guy got in touch, said he was a friend of theirs and uh, would I have a little taste and, and he didn't want a review or anything. I said, I don't do reviews. But uh, I've tried some of them. Um, it's, it's quite nice. Go along and see his site. It's a really nice little site. Um, it's yeah, it's it's really nice. Um, focus. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. No. Yes. No. Ha <laughs> ha uh, Lancashire Steam Company, the governor, uh, and he's got Troddy and. Uh, Tarts nipple and stuff like that. It's got useless dunker, uh, the governor, uh, Tarts nipple I told you about, Little Moscow, Little Moscow is really nice. Uh, I've tried a few of them and quite enjoyed them, uh, quite a good range. Uh, and, and that's that. Actually, just going on, um, let's get this out of the way right now, as far as juices go. There are so many good e-liquids out there now. Uh, so many good ones. Uh, there's some shit ones, but there are good ones as well. Um, listen, so many folk ask me, what's your favourites and all this? I, I honestly, I vape the same stuff day in, day out. Um, what I vape is just, you know, it's my personal taste. It doesn't mean it's the best stuff out there. It's just what I like. I mean, you know, I like my I like my cheese and toast. Uh, I like to get toast at one side, then don't toast the other, butter it, put a little bit of tomato sauce, then the cheese, then grill it for a few seconds, take it out, salt and pepper, bit of lean perins, then put it under again, and that's how I like my cheese and toast. Not everybody likes their cheese and toast like that. We're all different. Get it? However, this is what I vape. This is just so many folk ask. I'm going to just get this out of the way. Mrs. Lord's Druid and Custard Cream. Custard Cream and the Druid, they are my, uh, I keep them for the house. I vape them at night mostly because they're kind of like my 
let's spoil myself and have a really good vape. So they're, they're I consider them they're my nighttime vapes. Okay. Uh, my all day vapes. This is what I vape day in day out. Grants. Grants vanilla custard is and always has been my favourite vanilla custard. I've tried many others, but it's still my all day vape. The only other one is my Goose Juice by Quacks. Goose Juice is quite different to Grants. Uh, it's a bit more it's a bit more complex. It's not as in your face as Grants. Grants is full on, you know, vanilla custard. Uh, where Quax is just, it's a bit more, a bit more going on to it. And you know, it's not to everybody's liking, but uh, those that do like it, love it. Like me. So they're my all day vapes. The only other two ranges that I, I really do vape a lot is I like my Scopes Peach. Uh, Scopes E Liquid and Apple Tap. Huge fan of them. Love them both. Uh, and that's my uh, yeah, it's my usual. If I'm filling a uh, Pro Tank Three or something like that, that's kind of tend kind of keep them for that because they're quite distinctive flavors. So that even if they're muted a little bit, they're still nice and strong. Does that make sense? Digby's Mum's Custard is another of my favourite custards, as is IV247. Uh, that's got some butterscotch in it, so that's another one that I really like. And that's it. They are my favourites. That, that's what makes it onto my list. If I had a list, that would be it. Um, however, there are, I like to say there's many other juice makers and vendors out there that I really like their e-liquids. Uh, I mean, Billy Vaping King, uh, I mean, he's only 19 and he makes some exceptionally nice e-liquids. Uh, he sent me on his new one, Grog, which is spot on. He's spotted dick and uh, custard is... Oh, I've just got timed out there. Excuse me. Back again. Spotted Dick Custard is very nice. I do like, I like Mrs. Lord's Spotted Dick, but that little touch of custard that Billy's done with it, just, mmm. Um, you know, Jungle Funk and uh, Spectrum, and the, there's just so many that I like, but not necessarily my all-day vapes. I hope I haven't offended anybody by not mentioning them. But please understand that that's just what I like. Here we go. Um, as far as atties and mods and things like that, you'll, you'll never pin me down on that. Sorry. Uh, but when you say, what's your favourite and what's this and what's that, it's never going to happen. Um, I can tell you I love squonking. I love hand-built devices. I prefer them over mass-produced stuff. Uh, I always have and always will. You know, if something's built by somebody in the shed, that's going to float my boat over anything else. It may not be as cool or as funky or as sought after, but uh, it's just what I like, you know? It's just what I like. Um, I've stopped biting my nails again. I don't know if I'm telling you that, but I've stopped biting my nails again. And... Getting eczema in my hands, so I'm having to use cream. I've just noticed that in the last videos. I've never noticed before, but uh, you know I'm getting flaky skin. So everything I touch just now is getting absolutely covered in hand cream, which is not very cool. Uh, right, what else can I tell you? It's Friday. It's uh... actually there's a thing. Um. Yeah, that's it. Just 
just remembered the Blues Brothers. What was the tagline from the Blues Brothers? You know, they're sitting in their car. We've got X amount of cigarettes, petrol, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I used to have a Blues Brothers poster um, on my bedroom when I was a kid. I can actually remember it. Where's it gone? This, this is just going to bug me now. It's going to bug me. It's going to bug me. Oh, aye. There we go. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Just awesome, awesome film. Uh, awesome film. Uh, so witty. And the music is amazing as well. If you ever get... I know most folk have seen the Blues Brothers. But... If you've not, go and watch it. Don't watch the second one, though. It's shit. Um, right. What? Stay there. No, stay there. Stay there. I got sent... This just arrived today. Uh it's it's the Chang box. This is a handmade box. And it's just arrived. And there's a guy making these and I'll do a quick review on it at some point, but it's it's absolutely stunning. The only thing is it's not actually working right now. I think it's the battery's gone completely dead in transport. Uh I've been charging it for ages, and it's not, it's not, nothing's happening. And I'm really worried about that. Uh, really worried. I hope that it's, it's, it's going to work. Because the guy, it's one of these things you can see the guys put a lot of love and attention into it, but just nothing happening on it. Um, so I'll get in touch with them. It, it's just. It's like I say, it's, it's one of these things that you know it was handmade. Um, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Please charge, please work. I want you to work. Um, my mini atom is uh, I don't know if you remember my mini atom, um, DNA 20 box mod. Um, it's the wooden brass one. I use and abuse it on a regular basis, and uh, I broke it. Uh, so it's gone back to Mike, who's fixing it, and uh, he sent me a picture of hammers and chisels. Uh, underneath it, it said, these are tools not to be used with this mod. <laughs> you ought to see the state of it. Oh, man, it's embarrassing. I'd, anyway, long story. I'm not boring you to death with it. Um... Right, thirty-two minutes. Um, right, let let let's let's see. Uh, piss off with your spam. Um, oh, um, mod um, Cloud Nine are sending me on some gear. Uh, mod Factory uh, gear. They've got uh, the K dripping, the K pico, and the K square K fun cap. All coming to me, uh, so there'll be a review for all that gear. Um, that's uh, I, listen. I'll, I'll be completely upfront here. I have no qualms about doing this. Um, there, I, there is a lot of gear. You know, I, I do my review list, and it's got all the gear. And you'll suddenly see a mod appearing that wasn't in there, or gear that just appears and jumps the queue. I'm sorry. Um, I don't might piss some folk off, but to be perfectly honest, there are some companies out there that have sent me gear um, when I started off reviewing, and they've kind of like supported me uh, or or kept me going in gear when I was either skint or uh, you know nobody else was sending me gear to review at that time, and they've been really good to me. So when they say at the last minute, you know, I've got some gear, uh, could, would you mind reviewing it? I will move it forward uh, because 
I'm doing them a favour. Anyway, here comes the boss, so I better just turn around slowly and see what's going on. Hey oh. Oh, post. Okay. Lunchtime. Aha. Uh, right, I'm going. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I've managed to shave this down to 35 minutes. I've, I've nothing to rant about, nothing like that. Um, have I? No. no. It's getting up. It's windy here. Uh, you guys, have a lovely weekend. Uh, have an even lovelier week after that. Um, and, you know, be careful out there. Uh, careful out there. Hill Street Blues. Another piece of excellent TV. Oh, and I'll tell you what, th this is one that was bugging me. Uh, I'm going to shot if I don't move my ass here. But, um, sod. Uh, so, um, I've had a song going around in my head for absolutely donkeys. And I've had the the chorus going through my head and now where did she post it? She posted it. Oh, I've got to find this. Can I find this? Can I find this? I've got to go and I've got to find this. Uh, uh, come on, there she is. Aileen. Uh, where is it? You posted it up. Where's it gone? And now it's gone. System of a Down, B Y O B. Uh, it's a, you know I, I'm not a huge System of a Down fan, uh, but there's a couple of tracks I really like. Uh, B Y O B. Uh, do you know I, I've been trying to, that chorus has been going through my head for months, and I've been trying to track down the song. And Elaine Lassie on Facebook, she posts up cracking music. She's got great taste in music, and uh, there it was. Uh, so. Elaine, if you see this, thank you. Uh, and, and that's me. I'm away. I heave up.